Bishop Perth. May God bless her and all who sail in her. launched her on March 20th, 2004, she began a journey that would culminate in Fremantle in August. As she slid down the ways and settled to her lines, secured to her berth, I still felt she was not yet free of the land. She was a marvellous artefact, but I didn't feel she was a ship. All great ships are not just an assembly of modules and equipment. They are imbued with the spirit that gives us the feeling they are only temporarily tethered to the land, that the sea is their real element. Well, it's a great pri privilege and pleasure to be here at Williamstown for the final milestone in the Anzac Ship Project. And what a great project it's been for Victoria and what a great project it's been for this region as well. The delivery of new ship Perth to the Royal Australian Navy is a happy occasion. The 10th and last Anzac frigate, built during the largest maritime project in Australia and one of the largest and most successful defence contracts ever award awarded in this country. The massive naval project has been a source of great pride to Williamstown and also to Victoria. The Anzac ships have been delivered to the Australian and New Zealand navies at a rate of around one ship per year over the past decade and not many shipyards could claim that sort of success. It is my great privilege today to officially deliver this ship to be named Perth. Almost 17 years ago on the 10th of November 1989, the Anzac ship project contract was signed. That was the start of a great adventure for the company that became Tenex almost nine years ago and for its people and subcontractors. I believe I share with all Tenex employees an enormous sense of pride that this day has come. It is truly a milestone in the history of the Australian defence industry. The Anzac Ship Project has involved more than 3,000 companies in Australia and New Zealand. It has generated almost 8,000 jobs and contributed $3 billion in gross domestic product, $2.2 billion in consumption and $4 billion in direct investment, a massive, massive economic injection. I pay the warmest and deep, deepest tribute to all involved in this project. In the governments of both countries, both Australia and New Zealand, the defence departments of both countries, the navies of both countries and in industry and in particular our employees on this outstanding occasion. The ANZAC project is the most successful surface warship building program in Australian history and I'm very proud to be representing the Commonwealth people who have been part of that. So thank you, thank you to Tenex, Rob Salteri and Dave Miller and all of the team there, Tony Davis and all the Saab team, all the subbies in Australian industry, you've done great. Every, every logistician, every engineer, craftsman, manager, accountant, legal officer, you've all done something great. To Chris Eggleton, Dave Markland and my project team, my thanks for your professionalism. All our Navy colleagues who've made this happen. And for the honoured guests today who are attending and sharing this occasion, I thank you all. Good luck, smooth seas, following winds. Thank you. The construction of, it, of this ship is an example of the excellent world-class results that can be achieved where defence and industry work together as partners, as collaborators. The entire ANZAC ship project demonstrates how a highly skilled and capable workforce working in partnership with a committed company and a client that is demanding but collaborative can produce state-of-the-art technology within agreed budgets and delivery windows. This successful partnership is a credit to Tenex, to its subcontractors, to its workforce, to the Royal Australian Navy and to the Defence Material Organisation.
Antonia. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's an honor to do this. Um, that is the actual block that has launched all of the 10 ships. Um, the people who have cut the, the ropes have varied from the youngest employee to the oldest employee and the leading apprentices. If you do actually count the blows, there is in fact 11. Uh, there is a rumor that Robert actually came out one night <laughs> and, and had a practice run because we wouldn't allow him to launch it, but it, it's a mystery. But please, on our uh, on thanks of behalf, receive this as a, a memento of the of the program. Uh, there's a lot of memories in that book. Uh, Robert and Eamon, thank you very much. Uh, we will take care of that uh, axe in the block. Uh, it becomes part of Navy heritage. Um, we'll display it proudly as uh, the culmination of a very successful chapter of Australian shipbuilding. And if I could just take this opportunity, Robert, to uh, uh, add my thanks to 10X and to all the contractors who've been part of such a successful project. Uh, the memento that I've just been given, in a way, looks backwards. Uh, and we will take good care of that history and that heritage. But I also like to uh, look forwards and I look at the ship's company of Perth uh, over here. Uh, they have a challenge in front of them to turn this fine ship into a highly capable warship. I know they'll do it. I look forward in eight short weeks to the commissioning of this ship. And uh, beyond that, I look forward to coming back to seeing her exercise her full capabilities. I know she'll get there, but it's a challenge I lay down to her ship's company today. Thank you again, Robert, for uh, uh, a wonderful program. Uh, we've enjoyed it. As the Minister said, she is a beautiful ship. She's a highly capable ship, and I very much look forward to her coming online as the latest and newest of Australia's uh, frigates. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honour and anticipation that I accept the bell rope from Dave and on behalf of the ship's company, you know, place that on the ship's bell today on the day of delivery. It is with anticipation and with the great history of the previous Perth ships, ships companies that we move forward today. We thank them for their sacrifices and their achievements and the Ships Company of Perth hope that from today we can make them proud for what they have achieved in the past. It is with great honour that we accept this ship today on behalf of the Chief of Navy and we start our long and hard road forward. I must thank Tenex, DMO and all the contractors for the teamwork that has produced this fine ship. I would like to also thank all those workers which I see out there on the wharf. Without them and the company's workers, this ship would not be the success that it is today and the project would not have been the success that it is today. So today, I warmly wish New Ship Perth, the Commander Simon Gregg and crew, fair winds and fine weather and I look forward to being with you again in Fremantle in August. There's so many highlights. I mean, every launch of every ship is a highlight. Every delivery is a highlight. They're all fantastic. Watching them go out to do what, they, uh, what they're meant to do, all those sorts of things are great highlights. Watching the pride in their workforce as they see the ship sliding down, the crew as they, as they march on with the ship's commission, it's all fantastic.